It's Cardcast with Mike and Len. It's a show about everything sports cards, autographs, and memorabilia. I'm Len Plus Z, and this is the Fresh Catch Video Edition. Yeah, Fresh Catch. Okay. So, uh, yeah, a little bit different of a setup today. Uh, it's definitely going to be a lot of, uh, oddball stuff that I'm going to share with you that just recently came in. Um, next video, I'm going to be doing a PSA, uh, reveal as you see a giant stack of PSA cards, pretty much ready to go. Uh, so I just want to acknowledge a couple of people first. Uh, one is you could see the new, uh, well, I don't know how many times I'll, uh, I'll switch this in and out and kind of keep things fresh. But, uh, I picked up from my buddy, my good buddy, Brian, um, Brian Yonkers. He's a Brian dash 21 on eBay. He's a guy who I get a lot of in-person autographs from and, um, you know, done some business with him in the past and had him on the show briefly. Uh, and so I picked up this sign. He had the signs like, Oh, he's like, it'd be a great display backdrop for your show, but it is so massive. It's like a 60 by 30 sign. And, you know, unfortunately the, the, the back isn't set up, but it is a 50, 50th anniversary Hall of Fame sign. It's like metal and wood, and it's very, very cool. Um, it just, you know, I feel like uh, if I were to have a talk show, it should be sitting behind me, like on the side of a talk show, because that's just how big it is. So um, I'll figure something out to do with it, but I just wanted to kind of share that because it is part of the fresh catch. I uh, also want to acknowledge uh, Justin Kennedy sent me a message about uh, one of the last videos being in low res. So I'm, I'm actually shooting in a higher res now. Hopefully that'll straighten it out. I do appreciate the, um, the heads up on that, Justin. And also wanted to give a shout out for uh, to uh, Sopro03, aka Logan. Uh, he said, really enjoying going back through your vids. Great content. Very underrated. You're going to blow up. Uh, thank you for that. It's a, it's a very nice thing to say. Uh, a lot of this is just, you know, kind of like it, I'm sharing. I, I do know there's like a little bit of an audience going on. Um, I think we only have 141 subscribers as of today. It's about a year, year and change of, of doing these videos. But you know, slow and steady wins the race on that. But really, it's kind of like a personal, um, you know, my own personal, I don't want to call it, yeah, I'm going to just, my own personal journey of collect, of getting, you know, things in. And uh, it's kind of nice for myself to go back because a lot of the stuff that I've picked up over the past year and a half have come and gone. So uh, it's nice to go back and kind of just actually see and hear my thoughts uh, of, of some of those things. So uh, some of those great collectibles. Anyways, uh, what I'm about to show you is, uh, we'll go back to Brian Yonker. So Brian, I picked up, I've been waiting to get these in and I know that he's got a bunch of stuff in. So go to Brian dash 21, uh, on eBay. I'll put a link down on the bottom. You could just click his, uh, click his store there. So here we have, let me just see. Oh, okay. We have a, a 1978 tops. Uh, dual sign, Paul Molitor, Alan Trammell, very sharp rookie card. i um, very happy to add this to my PC. I've been dying to get this one in because it's two Hall of Famers off my list. And uh, we got a BGS 10 Auto. I mean, this card is really, really sharp. And that's that's one of the things that Brian really does well is he gets he doesn't just, like, buy beater cards. Like, he gets really nice cards uh, selected, gets them signed, encapsulated, and uh, and then he resells them. And he's also got his own personal collection. Also from Brian, this is my upgrade. This is my nice, gorgeous 1973 tops Carlton Fisk. Big signature going across. Very happy that I did do the upgrade on this. Um, I kind of forgot that he had one of these, and I just ended up selling my uh, or not selling, but I listed my my other one that's got like crushed corners. Uh, so. And here, you know, as I think I brought up in the past, I'm kind of done doing the like I was going to gradually kind of do the signed cup card collection, which it would be very cool, but um, I'm not going to do that anymore. But but there is a home for for Campy here, uh, Bert Campanaris, because uh, he is part of like the swinging 70s A's. So this is definitely uh, found a permanent home and this is a very sharp card too. a little off center uh, left to right, but I got a BGS uh, 10 auto grade on that as well. So, Brian, thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, oh, and Brian, check this out. So you want to talk about destiny of me getting the sign. So this 50th anniversary Hall of Fame sign, I pick it up from Brian at the Hofstra show. And, you know, whatever, it's it's been hanging out here. Literally last week I go buy a deal, 
and this came falling out of the deal. So I figured I'd just share this. It's a mini bat, okay? It says 50th anniversary Hall of Fame Cooperstown, Louisville Slugger. How funny is that? That like this just randomly came in a collection. I was laughing pretty hard. So, uh, anyways, all right. So let's get into some fun vintage stuff. Um, I think all of this is in my store. So, uh, no, all of this except for uh, the the 1970 uh, Kellogg's are in my store. But basically, what we have is have here is we have. 1960 new scoops, oversized cards. We have uh, 1964 Topps Giants, which are a bigger card. We have some sh very sharp 63 Topps cards that I just picked up last week. It's 1970 Kellogg's, uh, 1965 uh, Topps Embossed, 1960 Leaf, and also 1961 Flare Baseball Greats. Uh, also, what came in a collection last week was this, which I'll just share this. This is going to probably go up on open auction starting tomorrow. Um, well, starting on Sunday, September 5th, 2021. And it'll go for seven days. So this actually happens to be a pretty big box. Uh, 9697 Skybox Z-Force. It's Series 1. It doesn't have the opportunity to get the rookies like Kobe Bryant, Ray Allen, and Allen Iverson. But you can score some parallels, uh, autograph uh, autographics, which are 1 out of 72 uh, packs, which is a high gamble if you're just looking for the autographics. Um, which are pack pulled autograph cards for people that don't know. And then there's the, the highly desirable... Uh, I believe it's slam. I think it's slam cam insert insert cards. So, and those are one out of yeah slam cam. So you pull a Jordan on a slam cam, you're you're doing well. But the odds are very very tough. So, um, but a lot of that stuff has been opened. So people are paying premiums for just unopened product. Anyways, all right, let's get into the we'll get into the oversized first and. You know, so here, some of this stuff actually, I, so some of this stuff I've had for a while, um, and I wanted to do a fresh catch by the time I got to it. And these are really, I mean, these are cool. These are vintage. And what's nice about these oversized cards, including the the Topps Giants, okay, uh, what's nice about that is I did figure out a way, um, I do have a system where these can be shipped eBay standard envelope. So you're not going to break the bank on shipping. All right, I think I'm charging a dollar seventy-five, but you're getting uh, not only getting track shipping, but you're also getting a brand new oversized top loader, which unfortunately those are a little bit more money now. And um, and the way that they're going out is they're being protected, so they're not going to get destroyed. So fairly inexpensive way to pick these up, and uh, these are pretty you know these are pretty tough to get. So we got Harvey Haddix, we got Dizzy Dean, and Daffy Dean win series. We have a lower grade Stan Musial. We have, uh, well, not PC, but uh, it's, uh, what's his name? Uh, I forget his name. Where is it? Oh, Eddie Goodell. Yeah, Eddie Goodell. So uh, so there we go there. We got Willie Mays, greatest catch. So this is 1960. These are very cool uh, New Scoops highlights. And uh, New Scoops is spelled N-U-S-C-O-O-P-S. We have Pee Wee Reese. Ty Cobb, a couple of those. Killebrew. And this would be kind of like a McCovey, you know, oddball rookie because this is 1960 and his rookie card is 1960 tops. <clears throat> so that's kind of cool. And then you have Erskine. So we got those. Just place these up here. And then we're going to run through these guys. Check these out. These are, there. some of these are really sharp. And I'm just going to run through them because most of these are, are – I don't say most of them are commons, but we'll stop with the Hall of Famers when we come across them. Uh, Mill Pappas. Here's a lower grade Ron Hunt for people that are working on those, uh, you know, lower grade 64 Tops Giant sets. Roy McMillan. Here's – so there we go. Rocky Caldito. Got a couple of alkaline batteries coming through. Hall of Famer Nelly Fox. There's a lot of cards to go through here, so I just want to... But, I mean, these are gorgeous. And I've always... I mean, for for the longest time, I felt felt that these were just over uh, undervalued because of the size. Like, people were just, like, not... They didn't want to... Uh, because they didn't fit into a small little box, like, with all the standard-issued stuff, these kind of got kicked to the curb a little bit. But these have definitely matured over the years. Uh, I'm very happy that... 
you know, that as I got these in deals, I just kind of put them away. And now look at that Frank Robinson. Oof. Fantastic. Bill Freehand, who unfortunately we just recently lost. Warren Spahn, 363 wins, I think. Pete Ward is a signed Pete Ward. Jim Maloney. These, these were great cards to get signed as well. But yeah, for the longest time, I mean, I remember in the 90s and early 2000s, the mantle only booked at like 20 bucks. You know, now that's that's completely turned around. Here's a nice sharp Killebrew with OC. In this, so there was some really, obviously there's, there's more sharp cards in here than not. And I ended up sending in, here's some Gibbies. Like that Gibby is nice. That's like, that Gibby's near mint easily. Um, this one's probably a little less, maybe VGXX, but, um, I sent in the mantles, the Clementes, any, any of the Clementes, Aaron's and mazes, Kofax. So unfortunately we won't see those, but we will see those on a PSA return at some point. Galen Cisco, I think that's an SP Brooks Robinson, look at Brooksy, a human vacuum cleaner, Billy Williams. Who's that? I don't know. He's a hall of famer. Juan Pizarro. Wagner, Cepeda, Pinson. So again, 1964 Topps Giants, very cool. A couple of Santos, a couple of Romanos. Um, if you're on YouTube and you're watching this and you want to click on the link below to my eBay store, and you want 10% off, just send me a message. Just be like, hey, I mean, I would love a, a, a sub, uh, you know, subscription there and uh, and a like and comments and stuff like that. But uh, but if you just want to click and peruse the store, uh, just send me a message that you saw the video. You get 10% off anything you want, anything. So um, we'll go to 61 Flair Baseball Greats. These were pretty sharp. Now these, the 61 Greats, the 65 Embossed, the 60 Leaf, uh, 63 tops. Yeah, all those came in, in the same deal from last week. And let's just see if we can get in there. We got Grover Alexander, Cap Anson, Homer and Baker, Mordecai Brown, Cochran, Mickey, <laughs> Mickey Cochran. If you go to the uh, the his uh, Wikipedia page and you open it up and it's <laughs> Mickey Cochran's nickname is Black Mike. Uh, if anybody knows like how he got that name, it doesn't ex explain that, but that'd be interesting. So if anybody knows, leave it in the comments. Paul Derringer, <clears throat> Faber, Jimmy Fox. These were always great cards. And I, again, another set that has been undervalued. Still think it's undervalued. Johnny Kling, gorgeous card. Christy Mathewson. McGraw. Hal Newhauser. Back-to-back -back MVP Hal Newhauser. Melot, only pitcher to do so. Allie Reynolds, Schoolboy Row. Get a lot of fun nicknames in here, too. The Wainers, Donnie Bush, Jimmy Collins. So, very nice. These are a lot of X Men to Near Mint cards in that particular set. Okay, let's knock out the 60 Leafs. Again, not too many. I don't think there was really any. Big hitters in here, but a black and white, another um, oddball set from 1960. So you could see that uh, here's the backs, kind of newspaperish, but it's got like a glossy photo stock to it. So let me just make sure that yeah, there we go. Um, I get some Ken Hunts, Bill Verdon. He's a star, semi star. Bob Avila, Avia. Humberto, White Deer Herzog, the only Hall of Famer to make it, and Dick Donovan. All right. But again, yeah, another 60 set that, uh, so you have the 60 top set, and I'm sure there's other, you know, oddball sets from 1960 I'm not thinking about now. But here we got some very cool, shiny, gold embossed. We got Carly Stremsky, card number one, <clears throat> Moose Scourin. What's cool is I, I found another batch of these that I'll probably share in another video. Conditions going to be all over the board. This is pretty consistent in that VGX uh, to X Mint. And what's nice, what was nice about this batch, minus the Drysdale. Um, now I don't know. This you could probably see a little bit better, but on these, these are, the reason why they're called embossed is because the head is like a little bit raised, and it's kind of like a just a unique thing. Um, 
that I guess Topps decided to play around with. And when you go back and you look at some of the oddball issued stuff, it's really groundbreaking because you don't see this stuff again until much, much later on. I mean, embossed cards, action packed, right? So action packed says, okay, we're going to do embossed cards. Well, Topps, Topps did it first. They did it back in the 60s, man. In the 60s. Leon Wagner, I just blew through, I think, Frank Robinson. Sorry about that. John Callison, Zoilo, MVP with 24 home runs in his defense. Jack Baldwin, Billy Williams, I have no idea who he is, but just keep going with him. Veda Pinson, Bill White, Ken Boyer, Raditz. Anybody that goes through the old videos, they'll, they'll understand why I say that about Billy Williams. So, Spangler, Al Spangler Banner. Harmon Killebrew, Lee May, Joe Cunningham. Again, all up on eBay, all for sale. And the stuff's selling. I mean, I've already, unfortunately, I mean, I did, I feel like I did this a little late because stuff has been selling out of there. All right. Um, let's go to, we'll go to the 63 tops. We'll save the 60 or 70 uh, Kellogg's after. Okay. So these are razor sharp cards. Okay. I was, these are pack fresh. They have a little bit of a curl to them. So I've been using my, my phone. There's Ken Hubbs who passed away around that time. Uh, Pete Burnside. So a lot of these are commons. I really wish I, I knew like the person that sold them to me, uh, uh, her name is Diana and she's going to be doing something that's going to be contributing to the hobby. I don't want to say what it is yet because at some point I'll have her on my show. Uh, we did discuss, you know, this lot and some of the other lots that she sold me. She asked me, she says, are you going to run these, you know, as lots or uh, are you going to sell them individually? And initially my answer was, I'm going to sell them individually. Here's an error variation where they did the 62, 63, you know, rookie stars. So my initial thing was I was going to lot these up, you know, get my money back and, you know, just move on. And typically and the, one of the main reasons is because I don't really like having uh, my store, filled with commons. So, and these are, you know, common semi-star ish. So when you bog down your store with this much commons, unless if somebody's working on a 63, you know, nice set, you know, it doesn't really, I don't know. I, I so ultimately what I ended up doing was I just kind of came back and I reassessed it and just said, okay, yeah, it's going to be a, a much longer time before I get my money back. And yes, I will make more, but you know, I also have to put a lot more time in. I mean, listing 210 individual cards is, is, you know, it's, it's work. So, um, so they're all up, they're all for sale. They have been selling, um, not like crazy, but you know, I've sold a few and, um, but these are just really, I mean, the colors on these, the bottom colors, I think this was, I had a conversation with my dad about these. This is like one of his first years that he was collecting at eight or nine years old. And, um, you know, just really sharp stuff. You'll see some stuff that has like thin corners, stuff some stuff that's way OC, but it's like that's like near mint off centered or near mint almost miscut. But um but yeah, there's some really good stuff. And then you know what's nice is that we get into some of the, the more tougher stuff, which is gonna be the uh the semi high numbers and the high numbers and here's some checklists. The checklists were not super sharp, but they were you know they were okay. So anyways, uh yeah, so I did a, a you know a fair deal with Diana and um you know again I, I you know think I was uh, on the fence about either doing auctions or doing these individually. And then I just ultimately just said, okay, Oh, the other reason why I decided to do these individually is because what I've been noticing is when, when you start looking at sales of, of, or the different types of groups of things that you're selling, one of the things I noticed is that just, just vintage in general. I mean, there's a lot of people working on sets now. And I just noticed that like here's here's Dick Stigman, um, Gordy Coleman. What I've noticed is that uh, my percentage of selling stuff pre 1970 is is really high. So I just said, you know what? These are really colorful cards. Um, you know, obviously they're not stars and Hall of Famers, which is what I prefer. But um, yeah, that's that's. Uh, so I just decided to just you know break these up because I figured it'd be a nice splash of color. Like Bob Ross, happy little 63s. Look at that 63s. Look at these. I mean, Jim Hickman. Now, this is pretty cool. This is Don Landrum, but it's actually a picture of Ron Santo. 
So this is like an uncorrected error, and that is Hall of Famer Ron Santo, which, man, I don't know if I knew that before or if I paid attention or cared or whatever, um, but it's pretty cool, uh, pretty cool little thing. Matty Alou, Gary Bell, as we get into the higher numbers, Mac and Cheese Jones, and Mac and Cheese, Johnny Padres. That's, that is, I mean, whew, look at that. Now, I think the Koufax in this set is, uh, which I don't have, but it's got the green. The Koufax would look awesome with the blue, you know, because you just got that Dodgers, that Dodgers blue. Very, very cool. Very sharp Pirates card. I mean, all the blue, look at the deep red Clemente's in there. Happy little 63s. Pizarro. Keen. Chuck Hiller. Pumpsy. Pumpsy Green goes from the Red Sox. He breaks the uh, the color barrier there and uh, goes from the Red Sox to uh, to the Mets, where is he, uh, I think he was the first, first black player to uh, play for the Red Sox. Pumpsy Green. And goes to the Mets. Jim Brewer, son of Sam McDowell, Joe, show me the gains, Andy McDaniel, Matt Wagner, Zo- this, this Zoilo is like, I mean, it's a tiny bit off center left to right, but very sharp card of that former MVP. I forget what year he did. I don't know if it was 65, 65, I think he was MVP. Oh, Luplo. Look at that. Cup card. You know, I love those. And then we got fifth series checklists. So we're just rifling through. Again, if you want to see nice close-ups, good shots, uh, just click on the link below, head to the eBay store, and mention if there's anything uh, that you're interested in. I mean, I, I do it all. So Bob Friends made a little post about this on Facebook. I have three close friends. Tomorrow, Tex Clevengers. And what's nice is, I, you know, initially I wasn't going to really do, um, and you'll see like little writing on the, on the, that's on the penny sleeve just because I had multiples. Look at that Clendenin. He's like, ah, you got me. I'm a little hungover. <laughs> um, so Paul Brown, I don't no relation to Paul Brown stadium. Uh, Let's see, where was I? I don't know. We're just going to keep flipping through. Oh, yeah. I, I wasn't going to do a uh, – well, I wasn't going to do a video on this. I wanted to do a PSA. And, oh, my God, it, there's – I'm happy that I got it back. I'm happy that I – you know, I wasn't expecting to get this box back until, like, you know, probably January of next year. So I am happy that I got it back. But I'm – definitely there's some – displeasing things going on it's not even so much with the grading so we'll get into that in the next video uh but ultimately the way this was set up was i was like let me let me get this video i don't want to stay out of the way but i wanted i wanted to share this video and what I, what i do want to get out of the way is all the piles of cards so i can merge it into my inventory so i can easily uh or have an easier time pulling packing and shipping as opposed to just going from pile to pile and I'm, I'm very organized like that so people get their stuff fast. So we want to get their stuff shipped out within 24 hours. We don't want to spend a lot of time trying to find the items. Okay. So this isn't up yet. This is, will be broken up, and this is going to go up. And th- I, as a kid, I thought these were, like, the best things. And, I mean, these cards just, that 3D look, I mean, fantastic. So, and they did, uh, Tops, I believe, did like a remake of these. So, this is a complete set. So, we're going to run through this. We got Crane Pull and we got the stars. Look at Rose. Now, the problem with these cards, uh, these are sharp. A lot of these cards I noticed do have some small cracks. So, they will be sold at that grade or discounted price. Of course, you know, Cleon Jones, even though he's a Mets fan favorite, no cracks. You get to Willie McCovey. Well, he's got no cracks either, but. Uh, all right, Mel Stoudemire, Howard. So, yeah, they are condition-sensitive to cracking. Seaver's got a small crack up here in the upper right-hand corner. 
but very cool. You know, Don Sutton, Jim Wynn, Maloney, Mahoney, again, Tommy Agee, Willie Mays in the Giants, Oddball, Marischal, Mashishi, McNally, 20-game winner with, with the four guys. Frank Robinson hits the ball so hard he cracked – the, he cracked my screen, man. Carlos May, right? Yeah. <laughs> uh, Bill Singer. Rick Reichart. Harch, Reichharch. Boo Powell. Gaylord Perry. Brooks Robinson. I mean, these cards. I mean, as a kid, I was just like, mind was blown. Because you just look at like what a regular... I mean, I started collecting in 86, 87, and those were... You know, bland Cheerios. These are, you know, Fruity Pebbles. Look at all the colors. Pirates, Clemente. I might not make it. <laughs> that, might make, that might make my PC. Hold on. Willie Stargell, Pops. Cullen. Todd Hundley. Or not Todd Hundley. Randy Hundley. Father of Todd Hundley. Reginald Martinez. Sign. Look at that. You did the little facsimile. Reginald. Second year. Oddball. Richie Allen, who we just lost last year. Tim McCarver. Ray Culp. He's culpable. Fergosi. Billy Williams, who is that? Blue Moon Odom. Here comes the swinging A's. Campanaris. Ernie Banks. Well, MC Hammer is uh as their bat boy. And then, like, actually, he was, like, vice president for a little while. Great great documentary. Uh, you got to check that out. Uh, I think it was put out by ESPN. Uh, Lou Brock. Reggie Smith. Rod Carew. Kurt Flood. Mr. Lonborg. San, son of Sam McDowell. Sal Bando. Al Kaline. Rico Petroselli, Ike Brown? No, Ollie Brown. Louis Tian, Bill Freehand, look at Bench, all happy. Joe Pepperoni, Bobby Mercer, Harmon Killebrew, which I might have to kill a brew later on. It's getting late, though. Tony Oliva, Borderline Hall of Famer, Jim Perry, Mickey Lowich, was awesome in that 60. Was it 68 World Series? Coco LeBoy. We can't we can't just blow past Jose Coco LeBoy. It's my LeBoy. Dean wait. Yeah, no, Bill Chance. Uh yeah, Dean Chance. Ken Hawk Harrelson. Willie Horton. Wally Bunker. Bob Gibson. These are these are just fantastic. Joe Morgan. McLean, Tommy Harper, Al Mincher, Don Mincher. Dang it. Okay. All right. So that will conclude the oddball and all the fresh catch. That kind of gets us caught up a little bit. I can absolutely do a fresh catch video sometime late next week. I got to go down the island again already for some consulting and uh, sports card consulting. You got to love that. And uh, again, uh, thanks for hanging with me, checking this out. Stay tuned. Next video, PSA. We're going to talk about some things. So should I give you a sneak preview now? Nah, I'm not that nice. All right. Thanks, guys. A sincere thank you to all the listeners out there. If you like the show, please like, share, and comment below, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you will be notified when all of our new shows are uploaded. Click on the links below to join Mike and Lynn's Facebook page loaded with sports memorabilia content. Visit Mike's opening day break room to see tons of new products opened up daily that you can participate in. And lastly, visit our eBay store Cardcast to look for the newest auctions of sports cards and memorabilia uploaded weekly. And we're out.